Hello and welcome back to my channel, Family Tech, where you get all the tech tips, news, and information to help you understand and manage the technology in your home. And if this isn't your first time here, welcome back. Today I'm going to talk about a board game, which you wouldn't necessarily think is technology related, but I am going to blow your mind with this review. So how do you get three teenage boys to completely abandon the video games that they're playing and play chess? Well, the answer is chess up, and this literally happened in my home the day we got the chess up. So my son and two of his friends were over, they were playing video games, uh, probably on the PlayStation or on the Oculus or something, and I got the chess up board, I took it out of the box, and suddenly I had three teenage boys super excited to play a game of chess. Now, what is the reason that this chessboard is so much better and can get three teenage boys to abandon their video games is this chessboard is amazing. Now, I saw them at CES two years ago, and when I saw the board, I was blown away. So as you can see, if you touch a piece on the chessboard, it will light up exactly what moves that chess piece can make. And if you have certain things turned on, it will tell you if it's a bad mood, a good move, or neither bad nor good, just a move. So you can turn that on or off. So when you touch the chess piece, it will light up green if it is a good move, it will light up red if it is a bad move. So what's really great about this, especially for kids who are just learning how to play chess, it's a really good way to help them understand what kind of moves these pieces can make and help them understand strategy on playing chess. So my son and one of his friends who is also not very good at chess, they both turned on um, the helps for their game and ended up in a stalemate because it was AI playing AI basically because they kept going on the moves that were green. But then my son played with the help on his player and my son's friend who is very familiar with chess played with no help at all. And um, my son was able to beat the kid that was playing with no help at all. So that was really fun to see. So the game board is really great for teaching your kids how to play chess. It's really great for teaching adults how to play chess. And it's actually just really fun to use just because I don't have to remember what kind of moves each piece can make. I'm able to get that help. Even if I don't want help in finding out what move is going to be good or bad, it's just gonna at least help me know where this piece can go. Now, if you're already um, an avid chess player or you like to play online, the chess up board actually can connect with lichness.com and allow you to connect with online players. And what will happen is the board will light up where that online player has moved so you can move their chess piece on your board and then you can respond in kind and it's going to move the chess piece for the online game. So like I said, it is currently connected to lichness.com, but it will add chess.com, which is a really popular chess playing website. Um, it will add chess.com very soon. It said early 2023. We are in early 2023. So I'm excited to see when that comes to fruition. So when you play a game, you can load up the chess up app on your phone. Now in the iOS app, it actually has a chess up Academy where you can learn different strategies and different moves you can make that can help you learn how to improve your game. See, or you can play against the AI just on the chessboard itself, and the AI will tell you where to move the AI's pieces, and then you can choose to move your piece wherever you want. You can start with a really high level of help and then continually reduce that level of help as you get better in your chess game. So it's helping you improve your chess game as you're playing against this AI. And now it's a lot more fun to play against an AI when there's actual pieces in front of you instead of just on an online site or, or an app or things like that. So um, 
just having the real life board is something that really just brings the game to life, basically. So one fun thing that my son started doing with his friends, he put one, the opponent on AI and had one of his friends play against the AI, the friend that was pretty good at chess and the friends would move the pieces to where the AI was moving the pieces to and then the other friend would just play against the AI but even when they're playing against an AI they can still get involved with more people as the other people need to move the chess pieces and then they still are learning because they're deciding oh okay I see why the AI did this and then help the friend who's playing against the AI respond so it was really fun and it got all of them involved and just made it super exciting to play chess so the board also has programmed in a lot of advanced moves as well when the pawn moves across the board and is able to be upgraded to a queen, there is actually an additional queen in the set so you can replace that pawn with another queen and you can have two queens on the board. But all of those really special moves or castling, which I actually didn't even know was a thing. My son's friend, obviously I don't play a lot of chess, but my son's friend was like, tried to do a move and it did the castling move on the board. So the piece underneath will light up purple if it's in the wrong location or if it needs to go somewhere. So it's really easy to tell that something is in the wrong spot. So if you make a bad move or if you move a piece to a place where it's not allowed to go, that will glow purple and then you can move it to where it's supposed to go. So it's really interactive and very responsive as you can see with this app. Now the set is $300, which is on the very expensive end of a board game or a chess game. Now I will say I have once spent $500 on a chess board. It was a really special Lord of the Rings chess. We loved it. Um, in our move from Southern California to Utah, we did end up getting rid of it, but, um, but I loved that chess set and I spent $500 on that chess set and it had nowhere near the awesome features that this chess up board has. Now you can also get this really great carrying case for the board. You can see it just fits right in here in this board, uh, in this case, and then you can store all the pieces in these little, um, these pouches in front. And then you can store you know, a charging cable, which it does come with. It is just a standard USB-C charging cable. So I'm sure you have a ton of those around and you can get this charged up. The charge has lasted quite a while. I have not had to charge it back up yet. And my son and his friends have played several games on this board. So the battery does last for quite a while. Now the board connects to your phone via Bluetooth. And so you do need to have your Bluetooth turned on, but you can start new games through the app. You can also pause a game and it will save exactly where your pieces are. So you can come, you can take the whole board down and come back to the game and set it up exactly where it was at. So you can resume that game at any time, which is really great if you don't want to just have this chess board set up at all times if you're still going through a really long game. There are also a couple of settings that you can do for stalemates. So you can set it up where there's only 50 moves available. Once you hit the 50 moves, it's going to stalemate or set it up where the threefold repetition rule will come into place and stalemate the game at that point. So there's a lot of really advanced chess rules that you can make sure the board adheres to. There's also an accessory where you can buy a set of checkers. And so you can play checkers on the board as well. So it is super fun. I have been getting so much use out of it. Um, if you are a chess fan, or if you want to learn more about chess, how to play chess, if your family's a big board game family, this is the best board game technology I have seen, and I'm so excited about it. So 
definitely check out Chess Up. This is not a sponsored review. They did send me the board, so um, thank you to Chess Up for that, but they have not paid for this review. So this is just something I was super excited about. I wanted to tell everybody about it and I set up this video. So definitely make sure to check it out. If you like this video, you like these kinds of reviews, helping you understand and manage technology in your home, definitely subscribe to this channel and give this video a like. It really helps to support my channel and tell the YouTube algorithm that I am creating good content that you want to see. I am Family Tech on all social media platforms and we will see you next time.